Hello and welcome back to the third annual Team Greenlee Tournament at Black Mouse Disc Golf Course in Felton, California. I'm Keenan Disc Life here with the head of Team Greenlee. Say what up, Chris. What up? And he- starting it right off, we got a sweet card for you guys today. Uh, Sias Elmore, Blaze Parker, Trevor Parker, and Thomas Tomaselli. Yeah, all right. So on this first hole, we have a little dog leg left. You have to make the Mando. Oh, that's a nice one. Piping right down the middle. Yeah, Thomas probably throwing his buzz or something. Yeah, yeah. I usually threw uh, some sort of a mid-range. Usually something a little more stable. Oh. We go Sias hitting a tree there. And we see uh, Trevor Parker opting for the backhand. If you remember from last year's coverage, he threw the sidearm there. Yeah. (laughs) And uh, his little brother, Blaze Parker here, throwing a mid, but it's a little cold and a little slippery. Yeah, you see him shaking his hand there, looking like he didn't maybe have the right grip or maybe it's still a little cold out there. Here's Trevor for his second shot after that early tree kick. Oh, here comes Sias. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, I always like that play, letting it stay out wide and then just ride back in on the stability. Yeah, exactly. If you send it along that right side, it should filter to the basket. Yeah. It looks like Trevor's second shot went a little long, but he's still got the look for par. Let's see if he can... Capitalize. Oh, just a little high there. And uh, Blaze Parker for par. Yeah, wow. Yeah, man, that, that kid's getting really good, isn't he? He is. And here's another young gun, Thomas Tomaselli, with uh, the early birdie to start the round. That's right. Got some real talent on this card. Trevor taps in his bogey and Sias with the par. Heading on to hole two. Tell us about it, Chris. So this one, you got the Mando on the right side. This is uh, probably one of the harder holes at Black Mouse. Uh, looking like 264 feet. And uh, this is the route I always preferred. A little flick. Something just to make sure you get through the Mando. Yeah, maybe that was Thomas's uh, big Z predator. He really likes that disc for the sidearms. Yeah. And then uh, Sias opting for the backhand. That's all you want. There we go. Staying straight. That is, like they said, all you want. Yep, made the Mando. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's a miss of the Mando. He's going to have to head to the drop zone. Yeah, it looks like he's still figuring out that grip. Yeah, this is definitely a very wet Team Greenlee compared to previous years. Yeah, definitely harsh conditions, to say the least. See if he can hit the par save from the drop zone. Sleeps a little right. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Little lightning queen there. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. And here's Sias for birdie. Slipped there on his back foot. Yeah, like we said, the conditions are harsh. Tomaselli for the back-to-back birdies to start the round. Oh! oh. Wow, that is dramatic. And then we got Who was that Trevor. Oh. Trevor putting out of a bush. Yeah. Got to be careful there. You fall easily. Yeah, it's very muddy at this point. Oh Got to yeah. be careful of where you step. There we go. So we got some tap-in pars from Sias right and Thomas and a bogey 4P from uh, Trevor and Blaze Parker. And we head on to hole three. Tell us about it, Chris. All right, so this one we call the field goal, and that's because you have to poke right through there. Uh, majority of right-handers, you're going to see flick it, and then left-handers, you're just going to see, oh, as you see Thomas, oh, harsh kick there, but uh, left-handers, you're going to see backhanding it for the most part. Yeah, and um, Faith Green is probably the only person we'll see 
backhand this hole. Remember her ace oh last year? Oh my gosh, yes, do I? I've s I don't even I don't understand how that works, but that was something else. And Blaze Parker opting for the sidearm, but he hits the field goal right side. Yeah. Getting off to a rough start here, but still a lot of a lot of ground to cover. Yeah, some some lumberjacks so far, but <laughs> that's right. They'll get to the basket. There we go. There we go. Stay on the fairway that way. Not too much slippage. Yeah, the rain was really coming down at this point. Thanks to uh, Cameron Brown for covering this card for us. He was out there despite the weather, and we really appreciate that. Yeah, thanks again, man. Thank you. And Sias for second shot. That's right pretty close on, to the basket. Yeah. This is Trevor for par, right? Yeah, I believe so. Oh, yeah, just leaves it a little left. We'll see if Thomas can save par here after that early tree kick on his drive. Oh, wow, what a par save. Sick putt. Yeah, that was... That's going for it all. If you miss there, you are definitely maybe getting a double. Probably circle's edge a little outside, like yeah. 35 feet. Yeah, absolutely about there. Here we go. Oh, nice comebacker there. Yep. <laughs> Trevor taps in his bogey there. All right, coming up here we have hole four. And it's a nice little downhill shot. Uh, we call it the Umstead Hole for anybody that has been here for a while. That's the old teacher at the at the building right there. Yeah, the aquaculture teacher right, at aquaculture. SLV. There's um, a lot of different lines here. You could see some sidearms. You could see some thumbers, some tomahawks, or I think Ooh. I think that was a Scooby. I'm not sure. Yeah, it looked like something like a Scooby. Size has a unique overhand throw there. And Blaze uh -huh. saying it slipped out of his hand, which can easily happen in this type of weather. Yeah, after seeing that, it looked like Trevor took a lot off of it just to make sure it got down there. Yeah, great shot from the older Parker bro. We got Sias coming out of East Oakland oh, right there. Right. There's a Sasquatch in them woods. And this is Blaze with this cool little birdie look. I always like this putt. Oh, but man, yeah, that is a really, that's a nice camera view there, too. And then Thomas Tomaselli for birdie. Oh, man, just missing there. Yeah, just a little left. And here's Trevor practically parked. Trevor Parker parked job. That's right. So he's going to take the box with the solo bird on this hole. All right, here we go. So on our leaderboard, we're looking at Thomas, Thomas Ellie at minus one, and uh, we have two people at plus two. I think. Who was that? I don't quite recall. I think it was. Yeah, Trevor and Blaze. Yeah, Trevor and Blaze, the Parkers. And, and we Sykes head on to hole five, holding it uh, par. Oh, little low there, so. If you keep that a little higher, that looks like it's going to be a pretty darn good pretty darn good shot there, though. Yeah, hole five, you have this giant redwood in the middle of the fairway. Oh, as Thomas yeah. tags it right there. You want to go to either the right or left, but definitely not right into it. Ooh. If that, if that stays a little bit understable, a little longer, that, that could definitely be a pretty decent shot. Oh, another slip for Blaze. We'll see if he can... Salvage the par. Yeah, here we go. Nice putter turnover shot. Yeah, that, should be that, that thing should sit right there. Yeah, it should be pretty for the for the basket position. And then here's where Sias's shot ended up. Kind of got it got pretty stable to get over there. Definitely. Oh, he went a little deep on that one. Yeah, a little left, a little bit deep. Here's Trevor for two. Oh my gosh. Wow. Don't roll. Sit down. 
Oh, oh nice. Yeah. yeah. That tree just came down pretty recently, so it's. No wow. way. Big putt size wow, Elmore. That was a great putt size. <laughs> All right, a couple of tap-ins here. Yep. Kept Thomas tapping in his par, and we head on to hole six. Tell us about it. Uh, hole six here, we have similar little field goal looking hole, um, but uh, it's uh, 187 feet. Most uh, most people back at it. I don't see too many flicks on this hole unless you're a lefty. Yeah, this is a difficult hole because the fairway is uphill and just. 30 feet off the tee pad and then it's flat so it makes the backhand pretty difficult you got to throw the hyzer a little higher you can't, you can't really opt for this the flat straight shot as much um this is one that always gets me yeah well put well put definitely true it's that's that, a nice that shot though nice. right there hopefully that's slid up and settled you can never know because you can't see right here but even when they look great they can still well, kind of scoot away yeah exactly this hole is very roll away prone you can see thomas laying up for his tap in par there yeah and here's blaze parker with the birdie opportunity oh no there's that roll away potential yeah it's right there so now blaze is fighting for par <laughs> no roll that's right Settled that time. So now we have uh, Trevor with a little birdie op. Oh, yeah, is he yeah. going to get the same roll as his brother? No. Uh, and then, this is yeah, this is where Sias' prime drive landed. Oh, no. It's too strong. A little strong. That's right. These old baskets. Yeah, these Mach 3s have seen plenty of putts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way of putting it, my friend. And then Sias taps in a sad par. Yeah. Boy, he <laughs> That's one way. That's one way to keep somebody's spirits up, touring pro. So we head on to 6A, which is the newest hole out here at Black Mouse. Um, this is actually a basket that was donated by the San Francisco Disc Golf Club. It used to be their practice basket. We installed it for a new hole, 150 feet. It's just a short little dinker. Just roll a putter hyzer and hope that you make it through those trees. All right, yeah. This I have not played this hole. It looks very fun. You can kind of see the basket right there, huh? Yeah, that's it poking shot. right there. What do you usually throw on this one? I'm probably opting for a P2, but backhand is my strong suit. So this hole... Even though it's 150 feet, if you hit an early tree, it's a very guarded upshot to the basket. So it can make it kind of difficult. Yeah, it looks it looks like it can be definitely one of the trickier ones. And a bogey on this hole hurts. Ooh, that looked like it kind of landed on its edge a little bit there. We got Thomas throwing a little turnover shot for the upshot. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to tap in. Yep, some pars from Trevor, Sias, Thomas, and then uh, Blaze with the, the solo birdie on that one. Yeah. Here we go, hole seven coming up, 232 feet. Uh, this one is the old bonus hole, right? No, no. Yeah. yeah, the old bonus hole. And then uh, usually this one you're going to want to really, really stay right oh there we go i think he was going for a roller there yeah it's a unique line oh here we go they're both doing that one apparently it's the play <laughs> i i usually prefer a little soft sidearm like sizes yeah, right go. there yeah, that's what something stable get it to go straight and finish right and you'll have a look yeah that was what i usually did as well and then there's thomas with his upshot One of my favorite things about this upshot is you have these giant redwoods behind the basket, so 
if you have any look at the basket, you can feel confident running it because it hits that tree. It's just going to hit the redwood bark very, you know, it's very soft, so it'll just drop you right there as a backboard. Yeah, yeah, and there's all those little baby redwoods to catch you right in that area as well. Right. And we head on to hole eight. Tell us about this. All right, hole eight, the old smoking hot hole for the old black mouse players. Anyway, so this one is very, very guarded. Uh, but right as you walk through that trail there, you're going to see it peek through on your right side. And size just showed you pretty much how to throw the hole. That was beautiful. Yeah. That was, uh, I usually went sidearm, but I really don't think there's any perfect way to approach it as, as far as you just get it through there through that little first opening and then pop through. Just, that's all you can hope for. <laughs> Looks like um, Trevor opted for the putter there. Maybe his, I don't know what he's throwing. It could be a reef. Oh. Some reefer. And then Thomas Tomaselli, just that thing stabled up on him, so. Yeah, there we go. I think Sias has got the best look out of the group. Yeah, Sias had that first shot. It was real nice. Real nice. Oh, yeah, taps in a 12-footer. So Sias steals the box, heading into the yeah. final hole of part one, hole nine. Here we go, last hole, part one. Hole nine, we're looking at 225 feet. This is as guarded as guarded to be. Um, used to be called high road, low road, for me at least, and that's because there was a a higher line that people used to take. And uh, now it's pretty guarded off. I don't think that way has been taken for quite some time. Yeah, this is arguably one of the harder holes on the course just because there's so many trees in the fairway. So the ideal shot for me is just throw maybe a putter high and right, let it hyzer towards the basket. But I have also seen some overhands up the gut work out pretty well. Oh, yeah. I've tried everything on this hole, and pretty much it's just a prayer. Oh, that one. That was a bad <laughs> shot from Thomas. He's, I mean, from uh, Trevor, so he's going to be looking at a bogey probably. Yeah, at least it didn't roll away. Oh, oh. No, I don't think that one rolled either. Yeah, if you hit those early trees, the upshot is so oh. hard. Did that? It looked like a tickle of chains. It looked like it tried to do a little tickle. And Trevor for par. Look at that Trader Joe's bag. I'm pretty sure that's what Thomas was using as his bag for the day. That's right. Reusable. Mm -hmm. Reduce, no reuse, recycle. That's right. That's right. Oh, oh that's not right. Dirty, that dirty. That's harsh. So Blaze is going to tap in a bogey. And that was uh, Sias' drive. He almost had the birdie, but it's going to offer the par and a couple bogeys. So that's it for part one of our card number one. We got Thomas finishing at par, Sias uh, with the hot round so far at negative two, and Trevor at three, and Blaze at four. Right on. So we look forward to having you back for the back nine, and we'll catch you over there. Yes, we will. We'll see you there.